What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Monday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, and I hope you guys had a very, very nice, relaxing weekend. Mine was beautiful, you understand? But other than that, you know, it just goes too fast as we all know, okay? Over the weekend, I come across this particular situation right here that's in the media. And as you can see here, it says, there needs to be justice and accountability for the life of Israel Scott. Israel Scott is the little fella that you see in the middle of you, okay? And uh, to his left right there, well, actually my left, is his family, okay? And uh, his family, you know, uh, took Israel to get swimming lessons, okay? And uh, when he took, when they took Israel to get, you know, swimming lessons, they took him to this woman right here on my right, okay? Her name is um, Lexi Currington Tenhusen, something like that. And uh, the situation is, is that um, she was going to give him the, you know, the boy swimming lessons, okay? But she didn't want the parents to stay. Okay, and long story short, in the time that the um, parents dropped Israel Scott off to this woman on the right, right here, for swimming lessons, they were outside waiting, and this lady just came out to their car and told them, you know, that um, come and get your son. And it is said that the mother knew something was wrong. Israel's mother, because this lady had tears in her eyes. Okay. Let's get into this story. Georgia family seeks closure after four-year-old drowns during supervised swimming lesson. How sad is that? Okay. Supervised swimming lesson. It was supposed to be supervised. So you figure if the kid was being supervised by um, able in swimming instructors, that he shouldn't have drowned, right? Now, this is a little fella. This is Israel Scott again, you know, and condolences to the family. And I hope you get justice for the life that was lost, you know, uh, for your baby here. How sick, man, you know. Okay, the story says the death by drowning of a four-year-old was announced Wednesday by the Burke County Sheriff's Office and the child's family is seeking answers. Israel Scott was attending his second supervised swimming lesson before the tragic incident occurred at a residential pool on June 14th per WFXG. The county deputy arrives on the scene after 11 a.m. that Tuesday. They were informed that the toddler was found unresponsive in a pool before a nurse on the scene performed CPR. First responders transported him to a local hospital where he later died. Okay. See, you know, uh, you know, I would have found something wrong myself. You know, when they said when 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 the woman told the family that they couldn't stay and watch. You know what I mean? But let's continue. On June 15, Israel mother uh, Dory Scott posted an emotional message on Facebook along with a series of happy and energetic photos of her late son. My heart has been ripped out of my chest. I can't believe that I will never see my baby boy again, Scott wrote. Cherish every moment with your babies and hug them tight because you never know. I would have never imagined that I would only get four years with my little man. My life will never be the same. Okay. The grieving mother recalled her son being nervous when she signed him up for a, a uh, week of swim lessons uh, last month. Um, but he was also excited to start his journey, according to the shade room. Scott told the outlet that the instructor, Lexi Currington Tenhusen, did not allow parents to sit in on swimming lessons, 
so she wanted so she waited in the car uh, for the first two days okay to me that would have been a, a red flag you know, I, I'm serious. What's wrong with the parents not being there? Maybe if the parents had have been there, the son would be alive to this day. But let's continue. The lady comes and she knocks on my window. Scott recounts. The grim day. I'm sitting in the car and she's like, come and get your baby. And when she said that, she said it kind of rude like. Then I looked at her face and... And I saw like her tears, well, I saw like tears in her eyes. So initially, okay, um, I knew something was wrong. And I just started screaming, okay. Now, here's the part right here that gets me, okay. It says here, no foul play has been suspected, according to Berks County Sheriff's Office, Captain Jimmy Wells. An investigation into whether criminal negligence was involved in Israel's death is ongoing per the shade room. Defense attorney Lee Merritt, who is representing the Scott family, reveals to the outlet that the family was refunded money by the instructor for the week's lessons, but offers no apology in the wake of the devastating tragedy. Carrington Tenson Tehusen has since removed her business and personal Facebook pages. Okay. Let's show Carrington Tinson again. Right here. This is the woman right here that's responsible in some way, shape, or form for that baby's death. She is supposed to be a qualified swimming instructor. I mean instructor. Okay? And there's no reason why that baby should have died, number one. And she should be investigated and brung up on charges, as far as I'm concerned for negligence in that boy's death. And that's just what it is. Let's continue. Just sick, man. It, it, I mean, really. Okay, here we go. She has a list of complaints from the region Y'all excuse this way this thing's jumping around. Uh, she has a list of complaints from the region about her often being distracted, using her son as an employee who's not consistently on the premises and not following the policy guidelines for supervi supervising children. So there is a reputation in the community, said Merritt of Carrington uh, Tehusen. The family is still waiting a full police report from the Berks County Sheriff's Office while the lack of closure overwhelms the young boy's mother, you know, and as well, as it, 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 I'm sure it does, you know, um, I really do hate, I, I know I can't hate it any worse than she did, you know what I'm saying, that she left her son with this un, irresponsible ass swim, so-called swim instructor, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, you know, there should be some accountability for what this woman's actions was. And she was cold about it. She never apologized. And I'm so sorry for, you know, whatever. But she gave money back as though that's going to, you know, <laughs> fix things. No, nah. uh -uh. now bringing this woman up on charges ain't going to change anything with the fact that, you know, the parents have lost the little fella, you know, his life. But still, there needs to be justice and accountability on behalf for this fella, Israel's life. You know, Israel Scott's life. And I honestly do believe that this Lexi Curitan Tehusen is responsible. You know, she's responsible regardless. This can't be, you know, overlooked. But you guys, tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.